Hello everyone, Brian here. Uh, we get a lot of questions about this breakfast that I'm making right now, so we thought we'd throw together a quick video just to, to show you how it is, because if you know me, you know I like things fast, convenient, but also healthy. And this is something that adds a lot of protein, but also is totally gluten-free, um, and it doesn't seem like it's onerous to make. So uh, basically we're making pancakes with sausages, which is sort of a high protein uh, version of it though. So all we're going to do is, you know, the oven's preheating right now. Um, we're going to put the sausages in, but then I'll show you how we're going to throw these things together really quickly and simply. And it's a great uh, breakfast to have even during the week when you might not have as much time. Okay, so first thing is we're going to put the sausages in here to cook while we're making these things. It's not going to take very long, uh, but these sausages will probably be the longest part of the whole routine since they're frozen. Uh, but here's the two ingredients you require eggs and bananas it's super simple uh, today we have a couple people joining us for breakfast so we're going to make a little bit extra so we've got six people three adults three kids who are eating today um, this would do everybody fine so generally in a typical morning with our family of four i'll just do um, usually like an eight and four ratio but whatever the case it's two to one two eggs for one banana uh, so we're going to crack these eggs throw them in here beat them and then we're going to take the bananas and just open them up. I usually cut them into one or two sections uh, and then we just mash them with a mashed potato masher. That's the technical term, mashed potato masher. Um, and we put them all together. And then today, actually, I'm going to add a little bit extra into the mix. You don't require this as part of the recipe, but however you want to dress these, you can. Uh, I'm going to put a bit of flax in here, ground flax, good fiber uh, to come in as well. And then some raspberries. Um, blueberries, whatever you want, blackberries, strawberries, any type of berries you should get in there as well. And sometimes we'll put some more, you know, chia or hemp hearts or things like that in there as well. So we can start mashing these together. Oh, and lastly, we have the, the griddle here with some uh, coconut oil on it as well. Uh, just a little bit better, in my opinion, than putting butter or uh, margarine on there to make it a nonstick surface. So uh, we'll throw these things together and see how they taste. Okay, so we got our 12 eggs in here. Um, Something very important to always remember is to do your eggs first. I've done the opposite before in a rush and put the put the bananas in before I beat the eggs and that's really tough to do. So um, make sure you put these in here, beat up the eggs just with a fork really quickly. And the other thing is with these eggshells and these banana peels, um, Janelle's worm compost, which I don't think anybody knows about right now, but maybe in a future video we'll get to, get to understand it. Uh, the worms love those two items. Uh, the eggs they use to uh, help with their digestive system and get over the um, the compost that's in there. And then the banana peels, they just, they feast on those things along with uh, avocado, same idea. They love the, uh, the avocado and the rinds in it. I don't know, they just seem to really gravitate towards those two probably because they're a similar consistency with the, uh, the amount of creaminess to them. So here we are, and in that amount of time it took to me to explain to you how worms like avocados and bananas um, our eggs are ready to roll. So now we can take these are the six bananas that I had shown. Um, we're going to take these things and just throw them in here. And then we get our mashed potatoes. In there. It's a little tough sliding at the beginning once you get going, but uh, like I say, we don't want to totally mash these so it's like a puree. We're just going to leave them lumpy, and that helps keep the the pancake together once you get it on the actual griddle. So we've got our bananas in here mashed up, looking pretty good. That's about the consistency you want. We've got our worm food for the composter. We're good there. That's a cyclical relationship. Now we got some um, raspberries here, which we're going to put into the bowl. Stir them up a little bit, move them around, get them situated. And then lastly, we're just going to dump some flax in here. I don't like to use measuring cups and things like that. I like to just go off the feel. <laughs> Seems like it's more invigorating that way. Uh, so we mix this in, and then we're ready to put them onto the pan, and we just wait. It bubbles up a little bit. They don't take too long to cook either because, um, because they basically just, uh, it's kind of like a thin piece of egg, right? So put it on there and we'll show you the end result here once we get them onto some plates. I mean I don't want to get ridic ridiculous here but something else we're using is these egg cartons. If you watched our first video with the campfire kits we use these egg cartons to start fires so 
better for uh, longer lasting in the paper. So anyway, we'll use that for our campfires or we'll just give it back to the, the Martins, our neighbors who supply the eggs. So I use a one third of a cup. That's about the right size for one good size pancake uh, measuring spoon. And I pre-greased this with the coconut oil. I can't, I don't know if you can see the glaze on there, but, and we're just gonna throw these on. I'll do about, try to get six in. Sometimes it's only five on this griddle at least. But that's, you know, about four pancakes would serve uh, one adult, especially when you combine it with, uh, I'm just realizing I've made a mistake too. I haven't got it warm enough to really allow the pancake to grab onto the griddle when you first put it on. So I've just cranked up the uh, temperature a little bit and I'll wait maybe a minute or two. Um, Cause you can see this is bleeding into the next one, whatever, just cut it in two and, and uh, start over again. But we'll put these on uh, and I'll show you what the final product looks like. I know I said that last cut, but I forgot about this. Okay, so these things uh, took about maybe five, 10 minutes to to make and you can see they look like just a traditional pancake uh, with none of the gluten in them uh, so if you look at this it looks like a relatively standard breakfast but at the same time there's no added sugars it's all just glucose fructosis so the sugar does absorb a little bit easier in the system um, and so the kids will eat it obviously with the bananas and the raspberries and the orange and things like that there's some protein in there with the sausages as well as the eggs and the pancakes and then of course we top dress it with a little bit of huggy debbie homestead maple syrup that we made last spring so there we go i guarantee you edra is going to eat that big time so thanks for joining